and welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be seeing how we can enable the audit on different tables okay so before that let's understand what is table audit so table audits are are an important aspect of data governance in service now allowing you to monitor and manage the changes you made to the data over the time okay so uh, it will give for example if you change this field on the table okay uh, it will show the previous and the current state of the that particular field out okay. it's out of the box is enabled on a lot of tables okay but for few tables is not uh, enabled just for the reason of performance for example if you are using that uh, that particular table extensively right it will create a lot of records in the audit history table okay that's the reason they they are not enabled on this table so let's get started and let's see how we can enable it out on one of the table and this time we will be looking on a table called sys user which is our user table you must be aware about this right so i went to this and let's open this record called able tutor and if i try to update anything out okay for example business mobile number okay i will update something out over here and if i save this out and now if i right click on the context and if i go to history if i go to calendar so you can see the created audit is there but what got changed is not enabled right okay the reason behind this is like there is no audit enabled for this particular table so let's enable it out how to enable it out just go to the nav filter navigator just type dictionary go to dictionary in dictionary just check for the table called sys underscore user the table on which you want to enable the audit enter now here a lot of people get puzzled okay which particular record to open right so over here type you have to just type the collection so this is a table which we want okay this is a table record okay wherever you see collection this is a table record and let's open this out so i will just open this out in the same tab and here you can see the flag called audit okay it's false by default so let's enable it out and you can simply save it out pretty easy just keep one thing in mind okay whenever you enable the audit the audit is not enabled on the password field okay because you don't want to showcase the password right what was the previous password on what is the new password to the admin so that's the reason and you can't override also that particular logic that's a nice thing we can say i will again go to the user record and this time again change the mobile number i will add couple of more digits to it and we can save now if i right click go to history you can see calendar and list now okay so if i go to calendar let's show you in the calendar view first and now you can see we got one more record previously it was not visible now it got and here you can see mobile number got updated okay it was previously before this after this you can see the similar same data into the list format also if you right click over there the list option was not available before when we when the audit was false right if i go to the list and here you can see if i go update time so you can see mobile number previously was this now new mobile number is this so this is all for today's tutorial the audit is pretty useful okay it gives you the information what got changed on to certain table for example you are say, say saving certain configuration or certain table out okay which you don't want anyone to or you don't want to lose the track of okay you just enable the audit for the same so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like this tutorial if you like it out please subscribe to my channel to get the latest notification of my future videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you